Until she landed in the ER, Amanda Mitchum had no idea her shortness of breath was actually atrial fibrillation. I could be just sitting and I just felt like I had ran a 10 mile run. When medication failed to correct Amanda's AFib, her best option became a heart ablation, a surgical procedure that uses high energy to create a lesion in the precise location that is throwing off the heart's rhythm. While it's an effective treatment, it can also cause damage to the esophagus, which lies just five millimeters away. That thermal effect can result in an injury to both organs where you get this communication which becomes a very serious life-threatening problem. Dr. Emil Daoud at the Ohio State University oh, Wexner right, Medical right, Center helped create a way to move the esophagus an entire inch away from the heart during treatment. The device is inserted down the patient's throat, gently shifting the esophagus left and right, moving it out of harm's way. By pulling in or using suction force and then moving the entire segment over to the side, you then create a safe pathway where the physician can deliver the energy to treat the atrial fibrillation. A clinical trial led by Ohio State found over a third of patients had esophageal injuries after an ablation. But with the new device, less than 5% had any injury. For Amanda, that meant peace of mind going into her AFib treatment without worry of dangerous side effects down the road. I mean, it was like night and day. Uh, my breathing, I mean, the breathing was so much better and just the overall, the way I felt. At the Ohio State Wexner Medical Center, this is Barb Consiglio reporting.